This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 1, Number 117. Write each expression in a simpler form by using the smallest base. Okay? So here, our first one, we have 5 squared times 25 to the negative 3 times 125. Well, we, we know that we can reduce some of these bases, right? So right here, the base is 5, the exponent is 2, the base is 25, the exponent is negative 3, the base is 125, and the exponent is an invisible 1, right? So we can reduce this. We have 5 squared, 25. Well, we know that 25 is basically 5 squared. So we can say 25 is 5 squared, and so that's being taken to the power of negative 3, right? And what about 125? Well, we know... 5 times 5 is 25. If you multiply that times 5, you get 125. So this we can replace with 5 cubed, okay? And that 1 um, can stay invisible on the outside. Okay, so then the properties of exponents allow us to combine. We have 5 squared times, well, this means 2 times negative 3. So that's going to be 5 to the negative 6 power times 5 to the 3. Right, and now we just add since we all have this, these all have the same base, we are going to add the exponent. So it's going to be 2 plus negative 6 plus 3, and that's equal to 5. Well, 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4, plus 3 is negative 1. So this is the same thing as 5 to the negative 1 power. All of this here is just 5 to the negative 1 power. Okay, so let's move on to B. B again, um, we're given all of the, these are being multiplied and then divided by 27 to the negative 2. The base of 9 can be looked at as 3 squared, right? So it's 3 squared and then it's squared times 3 to the negative 3 over 27 is 3 cubed, right? So it's 3 cubed to the negative 2 power, okay? And then we know 3 squared squared is just going to be 3, and then we multiply the exponent, so it's 3 to the 4th. Then we still have 3 to the negative 3, divided by 3 cubed to the negative 2 power. We're going to multiply the exponents. We get 3 to the negative 6, right? Then when we multiply terms with the same base, we add the exponents. So 3 to the 4th times 3 to the negative 3 is... 3, well, 4 plus negative 3 is just 3 is 1, right? 4 minus 3 is 1. So you don't even need to write the 1 over 3 to the negative 6. And remember, we can move this term up, right, by saying instead of a negative exponent, it's going to have now positive. So it's 3 to the 1 times 3 to the positive 6. Now we can combine these. And that's 3, we add the exponents, 3 to the 7th. And this is part B. Okay, so let's move on. Part C is asking us 5 times 14 to the 98th power divided by 8 times 14 to the 95th power. Well, that's the same thing. This division we could rewrite is 5 times 14 to the 98th divided by 8 times 14 to the 95th. Okay? So looking at just the base 14, we know we can combine these and say that's 98 minus 95. So that's 5 over 8 times 14 to the 98th power minus the 95th power. So 98 minus 95 is 3. So we get 5 over 8 times 14 to the third power. And we cannot reduce this anymore because there's nothing smaller we can change 5 into, um, and we're done. Okay, part D. Part D is similar to what we just did over here, but now we have 5 times 14 to the negative 98th power divided by 8 times 14 to the negative 95th power. Okay, so remember what negative in the exponent means is we can move it into the numerator or the denominator by switching the power to the opposite power. So we can move this down by making it 14 to the negative to the positive 98th power in the bottom, right? 
And we can move this one up by making it times 14 to the positive 95th, and this one down 14 to the positive 98th. Okay, and then we know we can just combine these two by subtracting 95 minus 98. So that's 5 over 8. So times 14, 95 minus 98 is negative 3. And then this negative 3, we know we can move into the denominator, or we can leave it like that. But to move it into the denominator, we just have, we multiply by 14 to the positive 3. Okay? So this is part D. So this is converting all the expressions, reducing them into a simpler form using smaller bases. And this ends chapter 1 of CPM Precalculus number 117.